what's poppin'? Brand new Wib just hopped in. Time to bring back the original intro. Anyways, today we're going to be cutting Russell Wilson as the Broncos plan to do in real life. We all saw they benched him for Jarrett Stidham. He didn't want to get rid of the injury clause in his contract, I believe it was. Um, all I got to say about that is fuck Sean Payton, you're a pussy. Uh, Drew Brees made your career. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. But we're going to be cutting Russell Wilson. We're going to be seeing what team picks him up. And we're going to be rebuilding whatever team that is. This may be a pretty short video because Russell Wilson is 34. So there may only be like two years or so until he retires. Maybe we'll do a couple years after he retires to see, you know, what he can leave the team off with. But yeah, let's get into it. We're going to go ahead and release Russell Wilson. Before we hop into this video, please leave a like and sub to the channel, especially if you enjoy Madden Rebuild. Comment any fun videos, no matter how hard they are. I'm willing to try any Madden Rebuild anybody comments. Uh, but yeah, if you leave a like and sub to the channel, it would mean a lot, and it'll help more people watch these videos. So please do me a favor. It will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Jarrett Stidham is now the starting quarterback for the Broncos. We're going to have to sim a couple weeks into the preseason and see if anybody picks up Russ. Alright, sick, my game's frozen. Alright, sick, my game froze and I had to restart it and it undid everything I did. So we're going to have to cut Russell Wilson again. And here is my boy Russell Wilson sitting in free agency. Time to sim into the preseason to see what team will be signing Russell Wilson. And after one week of preseason, a team has already signed Russell Wilson. Time to find out who it was. Oh, it was us. Um, can I turn off, like, auto sign free agents or something? The only thing I'm thinking it could be is maybe Phil Roster. I turned that off because offseason and free agent bidding is turned off or is set to manual, as is trades and free agency. So I guess we're just going to have to cut them again. And we just keep signing Russell Wilson. Is there any way to make it not do this? Here's the one thing that I'm thinking we could try. So I made Jarrett Stidham a 97 overall. Maybe this will make us stop signing Russ because this is getting annoying. Let's get to the next week. Hopefully somebody signs him other than us. Okay, we didn't re-sign him. I will obviously change Jarrett Stidham back to like a, what overall is it, like a 60 something, whatever. Let's see if he's in free agency still. And he's not, so it worked. A team has officially signed Russell Wilson. Let's go find out what team it was. And the Las Vegas Raiders have officially signed Russell Wilson to be their starting quarterback. And it's actually who we play in week one as well. So first, let me make Jared Stidham a normal overall. Jared Stidham is back to a 65 overall. I don't remember if that was his exact overall, but it's gotta be close enough. We are now going to be rebuilding the Las Vegas Raiders with Russell Wilson. And here's an official look at the new Las Vegas Raiders. Looking at this dude, this might be sick if it happened in real life. I think Russell Wilson and Devontae Adams would have a nice connection, even though Devontae Adams may not be a Raider next year. But Russ has a pretty good deep ball, and they have some good receivers for him to throw for. Obviously, Josh Jacobs. Defensively, we obviously have Max Crosby, you know, Nine, he He's a 97 overall, I believe. Yeah, because he has morale. But in this game, Max Crosby is fucking crazy. I don't know why we're in a 3-4 if he's at left end. But I've seen him do good in this game, so I'm thinking I might just leave it. Because I think that this playbook is 3-4 and 4-3. So just depending on how we do, we'll consider changing that or not. But let's go ahead and get to the midseason with the Raiders with Russell Wilson. First, I actually do... Want to sim this first game against the Broncos. We're going to see if Russell Wilson is able to beat his old team in week one. All right, and we lost to uh, 66 overall Jarrett Stidham. We only allowed 17 points, though. I'm probably going to change the offensive playbook. Going to leave the defensive playbook how it is, and then we'll get to the midseason. And we are sitting at 3-4 and four on the midseason. Our offensive stats were 12th in points per game, 13th in passing yards per game, 11th in rushing yards per game. So just kind of all around mid and defense is playing terrible, so we're obviously going to be finally changing the defensive playbook. Although we did only allow 10 points last game, but we're 24th in def defensive points per game allowed. But before we get into that, let's take a look at our stats at the midseason. 
And Russell Wilson's not doing so hot. 1,400 yards on the year, 10 touchdowns, 9 interceptions with a 65% completion percentage. Josh Jacobs doing pretty good, though. 600 yards, 4.9 per carry, 6 touchdowns. And receiving Hunter Renfro is our leading receiver, and Jacoby Myers is also above Devontae Adams. 400 yards out of Hunter Renfro, three touchdowns, 390 yards out of Jacoby Myers, two touchdowns, 288 out of Devontae Adams with four touchdowns. If there's an absolutely horrid sound in the background, don't know what the fuck's going on. Someone's causing a whole lot of ruckus going, bro, 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 bro. So my apologies. The old line's actually holding up great. We've only allowed four sacks on the season, both from our tackles. We have three offensive linemen that haven't allowed a sack on the year. Defensively, Robert Spillane is leading the team in tackles with 59. Sacks, we have 6.5 out of Tyree Wilson, 4 out of Max Crosby, 1 out of Jerry Tillery. Interceptions, we got 1 out of Landon Collins, 1 out of Jack Jones, 1 out of Marcus Epps, and 1 out of Amik Robertson. We'll go ahead and take a look at what players we have to re-sign. And we obviously want to bring back Josh Jacobs. We'll probably bring back Bilal Nichols. Um, Andrew James will bring back. And the rest of these dudes aren't too... Oh, we need to re-sign Russ, but looks pretty cheap. First, let's re-sign Josh Jacobs because he's the most important. We'll give him a player-friendly deal. Five years for 64.5 mil, and he takes it. Bilal Nichols, we're going to offer him three years, 19.2 mil, and he takes it. Andrew James, we're going to give him... We're going to give Andrew James a four-year deal for uh, 27.6 mil. He takes that. And we obviously need to bring back Russell Wilson. Maybe if I give him like a three-year deal, it'll lower the chances of him retiring. I'm going to give him three years, 51 mil. He takes it. And then the rest of these guys, I'm okay with waiting till the end of the year. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get to the end of the first year with Russell Wilson and see if we can hopefully somehow make a playoff spot. Wow, and at the end of the first season, we go 9-8 and eight and we make the playoffs. Looks like the Broncos went 6-11 and 11 and got spanked by us in the last week of the season. And we actually finished out really strong. We had the number four offense in points per game and the number four offense in passing yards, number 10 offense in rushing yards. Defense wasn't very good. I did change our playbook, but clearly not to a good one. We do have a weekly award from week 18. And Russell Wilson, against his former team, throws for 350 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. Before we get into the playoff game, let's take a look at our stats on the year. Russell Wilson was fourth in the league in passing yards with 4,200 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 12 picks. Not a bad season at all. On the ground, Josh Jacobs with 1,500 yards and 21 touchdowns. He may be up there for Offensive Player of the Year. Receiving, Hunter Renfro was somehow still our uh, leading receiver, 1,200 yards, 6 touchdowns. Devontae Adams with 1,100 yards and 14 touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 800 yards, 4 touchdowns. Michael Mayer with 700 yards, 7 touchdowns. And the O-line actually held up really good. Colton Miller did allow 7 sacks, but other than him, we only allowed 7 on the season. 2 out of Van Roten, 2 out of... Uh, not even going to try to say that name. Two out of uh, Andre James and one out of Parham. Defensively, Robert Spillane led our team in tackles with 132. We got 13 and a half sacks out of Max, Cros Max Crosby with 18 TFLs. He will most likely be up there for Defensive Player of the Year. Tyree Wilson with a great year, 12 sacks, 12 TFLs. And Jerry Tillery with uh, three sacks, six TFLs. Interceptions, we got three out of Jack Jones, three out of Amik Robertson, two out of Marcus Epps, and one out of Landon Collins. Lamar Jackson wins MVP, but Russell Wilson comes in ninth place in the voting. AFC Offensive Player of the Year also goes to Lamar Jackson. Josh Jacobs came in third place. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Quinnen Williams. Max Crosby comes in fourth place. And Tyree Wilson also came in tenth. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Anthony Richardson. We had Michael Mayer in seventh place. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Tyree Wilson, so he's going to get a dev trait, which is awesome. Um, that's about all we need to look at. We're going to go ahead and get into this divisional game. Who are we playing again? Oh, shit. I didn't even realize. Oh, I now see why uh, Lamar Jackson won MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. 400 passing yards, 39 touchdowns, and one pick. And I can only imagine what he had on the ground. Yeah, I think we know who's going to win this game. But with how this game is, we definitely have a chance. So let's go ahead and get to the divisional. And holy shit, what did I say? What did I fucking say? We have a weekly award from our playoff game. Devontae Adams went for 184 yards and three touchdowns. Wow, that's that's a game. That's about all I can say about that. Uh, we're now playing the Bills, who have the number one uh, defense in points per game. But we do have a better offense than them. 
and we just beat the Ravens, so I guess we could technically win this. So let's go ahead and get to the AFC Championship. I am expecting a loss, though. And we do lose only by five to the Buffalo Bills, 29-24. We do not make the AFC Championship, but that's all right. All I care about is I'm just praying Russell Wilson does not retire after this year. Let's get to the offseason and check. And Russell Wilson is going for one more year, so this rebuild will not be too short. We will at least have two years with Russell Wilson. And the Saints made the Super Bowl. I don't know if I've actually seen that before, but they lose to the Bills, who beat us, so I guess I'm glad they won. Let's take a look at our lineup real quick. And Russell Wilson is down to normal dev, a 75 overall. Technically a 73, he has morale, but Michael Mayer went up to superstar. Uh, Josh Jacobs and Devontae Adams are doing great. Defensively, Tyree Wilson did not get a dev up. I think he was already a star dev. His development trait got decreased. You know what that means. We gave Tyree Wilson superstar because I'm straight up not having that. That's stupid. The defense looks sick. We could definitely use some help on the interior, most likely. Um, we could probably use another corner. We could definitely use a linebacker. But let's go ahead and get into free agency and see who we can add to this team. And the free agent class doesn't look crazy. I'm probably not going to sign Tyron Smith. Our O-line played great. And for some reason, the higher overall linemen play worse in this game. Who I am considering signing is Bobby Wagner. Because we could definitely use help in our linebackers. And he went up to star dev. Other than that, I'm thinking maybe we sign Michael Pierce or Leonard Williams. We'd obviously move Leonard Williams over to D-tackle. We could also use Frankie Louvu, just completely revamp the linebacker group. So let me make some offers, and I'll show you guys everybody we make an offer to. And here's who we're going for in free agency. We pretty much spent every dollar to our name. So I'm kind of worried we may not get Michael Pierce. We are Leonard Williams' only offer, but he will most likely get, you know, other offers as we avail them. If it comes to that, I may reconstruct some deals. But let's see if we're able to get these guys. And we are able to get Michael Pierce and Frankie Louvu. does look like Leonard Williams got some more offers, so let me see if I can free up some money. I don't think we're going to be able to get Leonard Williams because I've literally been giving him like insane offers and somehow the Texans are offering more than us. Like look, it's going to offer him a five year, $101 million deal and yeah, we're only tied for the highest offer. I am going to leave the offer up just because uh, this may be our last year with Russell Wilson. I want to go balls to the walls, but the Texans are most likely going to get him because he's not even interested. Let's see if we're able to get these last two guys. Yeah, we're not able to get Leonard Williams and Bobby Wagner is really holding out. So. Let me just make him a regular base offer, and then we'll sim to the draft, and we'll see if we're able to get Bobby Wagner. And we were able to get Bobby Wagner. I didn't really realize that uh, we didn't need both of them. I kind of forgot we switched out of a 3-4, but I guess we can move one of them to left outside linebacker. Yeah, let's go ahead and actually do that. But the defense is looking good. We got Michael Pierce to hold down the interior, sitting at a 82 overall, plus one morale. I mean, this is most likely Russ's last year on the team so maybe we don't even draft here maybe we trade for somebody but I don't even know what I would trade for because there were some pretty nice looking guys in the draft so maybe we'll just do the draft I think that's what we're going to go with so let's go ahead and get into the NFL draft I'm thinking with our first pick we may go Johnny Bullock out of TCU he's 6'1 21 years old he has solid strength, good speed, solid jumping, great change of direction. And his core attributes actually look really good. He has A man, B zone, high awareness, high block shed, high injury. This guy will most likely be hit in dev, but I do want to make sure there's not somebody uh, better on the board that I can take. See, like Chris Fells also looks really good, 22 years old out of Notre Dame. He had 35 bench reps at the combine. He has elite agility, change of direction, and speed with great strength. He has good finesse. And his power is like mid, but could be worse. But there's other good alignment on the board. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the corner. Johnny Bullock at a TCU. Hidden dev, 91 speed, 94 change of direction, 91 excel. Hopefully with our pick here in the second round, um, there's one of those good um, interior alignment left. The O-line did play good, but I think we may have lost a couple in the offseason. And yeah, this left guard looks all right. Ooh, this left guard looks pretty good, actually. Center, ooh. Derek Vickers looks really good, 21 out of Georgia. He had 34 bench reps, great strength, elite agility. He has A awareness, A impact blocking, B run block and B run block finesse, B pass block. 
His powers are kind of low, and he may have a low pass block finesse, but I think we're going to go with Derek Vickers in the second round. Hidden Dev, 90 strength. Um, that's a good pick there. He's probably going to start for us on the O-line. Let's get into the third round. Don't really know what I'm looking for here. Maybe another O-lineman, maybe another D-tackle. Not 100% sure. I'll probably just try to find the best-looking player on the board that we could use. And Tyson Corcoran. Am I saying that right? That's a weird name. Doesn't look terrible. He does have bad strength, but he has A awareness, B pass block power. How does he have low power but good power? Or how does he have low strength but good powers and low finesse? Anyways, I think this guy will still be all right. So we're gonna go ahead and take Tyson Corcoran. He's only normal dev, only 83 strength. Hopefully he's a high overall. It's gonna be the last pick I'm gonna show, and I'll see you guys at the draft recap. And in the draft we did all right. The corner we took is a 76 overall, so that's pretty good. Our uh, hidden dev alignment is a lower overall than our normal dev. We're not going to get into it. I did take this strong safety who ended up being dog shit. CPU also did pretty bad. Let's take a look at the whole draft class. And honestly, this draft class wasn't insane. We got one of the higher overall players in, um, in Johnny Bullock. The only higher overall corner I see. There were a couple 77s and there was a 78. But we definitely did pretty much the best we could. So let's take a look at our new lineup. And here's a look at the offense. I don't know if this is cheating, but I gave Russell Wilson star dev just so that he's not like a 60 overall by the end of the year. And I'm really hoping we can get at least one more year out of him in this rebuild, but I highly doubt it. And here's a look at the defense. Johnny Bullock sitting at our third corner. I think we're going to be pretty good this year. But with that being said, let's get into the season and get to the midseason point and see how we're doing. Just came back from eating a busting ass meal and we're five and two with the fifth offense in points per game and the fourth defense. And I see right there, Russell Wilson is third in the league in passing yards. Let's take a look at our stats on the season. Russell Wilson's actually playing pretty good. 1,700 yards, 13 touchdowns, seven picks with a 70% completion percentage. Josh Jacobs with 670 yards, 5.5 per carry, eight touchdowns. Devontae Adams with 580 yards, three touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 400 yards, two touchdowns. Hunter Renfro, pretty much 400 yards, four touchdowns. The O-line's continuing to hold up great. Three sacks allowed out of uh, Munford Jr. and then only four out of the rest of the O-line. Defensively, Marcus Epps is leading the team in tackles. Five sacks out of Mass Crosby, two out of Bilal Nichols, two out of Tyree Wilson. Two interceptions out of Nate Hobbs, one out of Spillane, one out of Bobby Wagner, one out of Johnny Bullock, and one out of Trayvon Morig. I'm surprised we don't see uh, Jack Jones up here. Let's go ahead and get into our re-signings here. Twelve players ready to negotiate. You need to bring back Nate Hobbs, Trayvon Morig, uh, Marcus Epps probably too, Hunter Renfro probably too. We're not going to be able to bring back all of these guys right now because we don't have that much money. But at the end of the year, we'll be able to bring back the rest of them. We're able to bring back Nate Hobbs. All right, he needs more time to think it over. We'll bring back Marcus Epps. And he's happy to sign. We'll do the rest at the end of the season. Um, there's nothing else to do. We're going to go ahead and get to the end of this season, see if we can make the playoffs again. I don't know if y'all see that, but the Broncos are sitting at 0-7. Fuck you, Sean Payton. You're not shit without Russell Wilson. Let's get to the end of the season. Well, that's kind of frustrating. Went 11-6 and and missed the playoffs? This is kind of bullshit. Bengals go 14-3. Chiefs go 13-4. Bills go 13-4. Dolphins also go 13-4. Ravens 12-5. And the Jets and the Jaguars both went 11-6 and six as well. They both make the playoffs, and we do not. Well, it would really suck to end the video on that bullshit, so let's get to the offseason and pray that Russell Wilson does not retire. And Russell Wilson doesn't retire. Holy shit, thank God. We're probably just going to go like fucking 5-12 and 12 next season, and it's not going to matter. But what I'm really happy about is I was going to try to see, you know, where Russell Wilson can leave the team off. And there was not a single quarterback because, you know, I focus scouted all of them. All of the quarterbacks were either round three to four talents, day three talents, or UDFA talents. So that's huge. Let's take a look at our lineup. Also, the Bills beat the Cowboys 29 to 22 in the Super Bowl. I just realized that I forgot to show you guys our stats on the year because I was so, I was like in distraught from not making the playoffs. Russell Wilson with a really good season, 4,300 yards, 32 touchdowns, 17 picks. Josh Jacobs with a good season, 1,700 yards, 5.8 per carry, 20 touchdowns. 
Devontae Adams did good, 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns. Hunter Renfro also with 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 900 yards, 5 touchdowns. Michael Mayer with 600 yards, 7 touchdowns. And the O-line held up pretty good again. We had 7 sacks that allowed. Oh, my God. And the O-line held up defensively. Max Crosby finished with 16 and a half sacks and 13 TFLs. Tyree Wilson with 9 sacks, 19 TFLs. Michael Pierce with 4 sacks and 10 TFLs. Interceptions, we got two out of Johnny Bullock, two out of Nate Hobbs, one out of Spillane, one out of Jack Jones, one out of Bobby Wagner, and one out of Marig. Daniel Carlson was bad. It won't let me take a look at the like actual AFC awards, but we can take a look at the whole entire league with the 2024 season recap. MVP goes to Joe Burrow. CeeDee Lamb wins Offensive Player of the Year. Aaron Donald wins Defensive Player of the Year. And the Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to the Saints. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Nick Whitlock for the Bills. Now we'll take a look at the lineup after the season. Everybody's doing good. Josh Jacobs up to a 99 overall. Devontae Adams at a 94. Defensively, Max Crosby's up to a 99. Tyree Wilson's up to an 85. The overalls look good. Our uh, rookie corner we drafted is up to a 79. We could maybe use like a really, really good linebacker. But the offense looks good. I don't really think there's anything else we could do there to make it better because... I feel like adding another receiver might be pointless. But let's go ahead and re-sign those players that we missed out on at the midseason, and then we'll get to free agency. Definitely need to bring back Marig. He did not take our last deal, so we'll give him a player-friendly deal. Four years, 40 mil. He takes it. I guess we'll bring back Hunter Renfro. He's been playing really good for us, man. We'll give him three years, 26.7 mil. He's excited to stay. I guess we'll bring back Robert Spillane just because he's been doing all right. If he takes this, one year, 5.8 mil, he doesn't take it. Maybe we'll look to sign him in free agency. We definitely want to bring back Michael Pierce, we'll give him a pretty good deal. He would also like to play for a new team next year. Oh, and a franchise tag's 23 mil. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. So let's go ahead and get to free agency, maybe hopefully bring back some of these guys, and we'll probably have to restructure some deals to free up some money because we're going to need a big free agency here to build around Russell Wilson. Ooh, and Javon Holland would be nice to add to the team. Other than that, though, I don't see anything else I would really like to add other than we need to bring back... I mean, maybe we just bring... We sign DJ Reader instead. Ooh, there's actually a few good D tackles we could go with. The cheapest one... Because DJ Reader wants 18 mil a year. Armstead only wants 13 mil a year, so I think that's who we're going to go for. We'll see if he wants this. Ooh, and where's only offers? We could even go... A little team friendly here and now i'm going to try to free up some money so that we can sign javon holland because i think that would be a good addition to the team and we were actually able to free up a good amount of money so we should be able to get javon holland and eric armstead to make this defense even better there are going to be teams interested so we're going to go player friendly i may even give very player friendly because i really want javon holland we're still somehow just tied for his top offer but he's really interested so maybe he'll take it we're going to see if we're able to get these guys and we get both of them and here in the draft, I'm trying to decide if it would be better to trade for players other than draft because this is most likely Russell Wilson's last year. Thinking that's what I'm going to do if I'm able to acquire somebody. If I have to give up way too much, I'm not going to, but let's take a look. And we're able to get T. Higgins for a first-round pick for this year and a third-round pick for next year. I think that's going to help out Russell Wilson a lot because if he was able to get Hunter Renfro to 1,000 yards, Imagine what he's going to be able to do with T. Higgins. Let's take a look at our lineup after free agency and after the trades that we made. And here is a look at the offense. I, again, gave Russell Wilson star dev back. I think it's fair. It's probably technically cheating, but I don't really give a shit. The offense looks insane. We have an insane receiving core. We have a four receivers over an 80 overall. Defensively, we look pretty good. Tyree Wilson. Why did it move? One second. We're going to be shipping off Hunter Renfro. A second round pick from next year and a fifth round pick from this year for Quay Walker because we need another pass coverage linebacker and this should also hopefully fix the issue with Max Crosby being an outside linebacker and that looks a lot better so we got rid of a receiver that we don't have much use for anymore he was really good for us and I appreciate him my little gritty white boy but now we have two linebackers that can actually play coverage and we'll have still have our insane pass rush but we do still have our second round pick in the draft so we will be taking that but the question is, what am I going to go for here? There is another good corner. We wouldn't have much use for him. I think we just go with an O-lineman, honestly. Like, I like Kerry Freeman. He's 21 years old. 
you're in a five flat he has solid strength solid acceleration great change of direction and his only low he has bad lead block and bad run block power maybe there's somebody better here because i mean a center can always just play guard for us Ooh, but this guard looks pretty good tyree bankston 21 out of wisconsin 31 bench reps decent strength great jumping elite change of direction elite agility and his only bad rating is his injury yeah we're gonna go ahead and take tyree bankston only normal dev which is surprising to me we're just gonna make one more pick here in the third round i mean i guess we may as well just try to hit on another alignment because the one we got wasn't even that good anyway and tim mckenzie is still here 23 out of washington he had 39 bench traps and has elite strength i think this guy's gonna be a lot better than the guy we took hidden dev with 92 strength that's probably just gonna be the last pick i do here because i don't know i don't think there's much we can get here in the fourth round that we're gonna need so i'm okay with the cpu taking it let's get to the draft recap here's a look at the draft recap again our higher overall player was normal dev and our lower overall player was hidden not even going to get into it. I've complained about it enough. Let's take a look at the lineup. And McKenzie didn't really have much use at the interior, so we're going to try him out at right tackle. I guess, actually, we're going to start Munford because he's been playing all right, and if he's doing bad at the midseason or something, then we'll start uh, McKenzie because he's probably going to allow, like, 15 sacks at tackle because he's a center. So let's make a conscious decision here, but the offense looks crazy. So Russ has been set up for success. The defense looks almost better like we don't have many holes on this team uh heenan isn't very good but we really only have two coverage linebackers and then morig is one of our uh, sub linebackers so i mean we should play really good this year the only thing it's going to come down to is is russ going to play like a 70 overall or is he going to have another good season like he did previously but with that being said let's go ahead and get to the mid-season of most likely the final year of the rebuild at the mid-season we are five and two we have the number one offense in points per game and the number number two offense in pass yards per game. So Russ is clearly doing good. Let's take a look at our stats so far on the year. Russ is second in the league in passing yards with 1,800, 17 touchdowns to eight picks with a 69% completion percentage. Josh Jacobs with 650 yards, 5.1 per carry with eight touchdowns. Receiving Devontae Adams with 500 yards, three touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 400 yards, five touchdowns. Michael Mayer with 300 yards, five touchdowns. And T. Higgins, only 300 yards, three touchdowns. And the O-line's holding up good. We're not going to be uh, subbing out Munford because he's only allowed two sacks. And then the rest of the O-line has only allowed four total. Defensively, Quay Walker is leading the team in tackles. Tyree Wilson has four sacks. Max Crosby has three with 12 TFLs, one sack out of Eric Armstead. Interceptions, we have two out of Johnny Bullock, one out of Morig, one out of Quay Walker, one out of Javon Holland, one out of Marcus Epps, and one out of Jack Jones. A lot of picks on the year, so that's pretty good. Let's take a look at these uh, mid-season re-signings. I'm only doing these because if Russ does retire after this year, I'm considering doing like one more year where we draft a quarterback and see where he let the team off. I'm not 100% sure, but let's see what players we have to re-sign. We would like to bring back Jacoby Myers. He's been playing good for us. He takes that deal. Uh, Colton Miller, we would also like to bring back. Yikes. Yeah, we can't even afford to do so. So who knows? Maybe this will just be the last year of the rebuild because we can't really afford anybody. I'm sure we can uh, restructure deals and make it happen. But let's go ahead and get to the end of this uh, potential final year and hopefully get into the playoffs. And at the end of the year, we finished 12-5, and five, win the division, and make the playoffs. We had the number two offense in points per game and the number 17th defense in points per game. Looks like Russ did pretty good this year. We're going to go ahead and take a look at our stats on the year. He finishes fourth in the league in passing yards with 4,300, 36 touchdowns to 11 picks. Josh Jacobs with another great year, 1,500 on the ground, 5.1 per carry with 20 touchdowns. Receiving Devontae Adams with 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 1,100 yards, 7 touchdowns. T. Higgins, 800 yards, 6 touchdowns. And Michael Mayer with 700 yards, 8 touchdowns. The O-line held up good. Uh, Munford allowed 6 sacks, which... Is really good in this game uh four out of miller and then the rest of the o-line allowed uh eight total defensively quay walker led the team in tackles with 106 10 and a half sacks out of tyree wilson only seven and a half out of max crosby three and a half out of Bilal nichols 25 tfls out of max crosby though interceptions three out of javon holland two out of morig uh two out of johnny bullock two out of nate hobbs one out of quay walker one out of marcus epps and one out of jack jones for the yearly awards mvp goes to lamar jackson and Russell Wilson comes in eighth place. AFC Offensive Player of the Year also goes to Lamar Jackson. Josh Jacobs came in fourth. 
Defensive Player of the Year goes to JJ. Er, <laughs> wow. Defensive Player of the Year goes to TJ Watt. Doesn't look like we had anybody in the running there, and then we didn't have anybody starting on offense. I was a rookie. Same with defense. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this wild card game. We're playing the Chiefs, who I think were like an 88 overall or something. Oh my God, a 90 overall. They had the number three scoring offense, but only the 24th defense and points allowed. So maybe we'll be able to get a win here. Let's go ahead and sim past it and see if we're able to. And we lose by 18 points to the Chiefs in Russell Wilson's most likely last season as a Raider. Let's go ahead and sim to the off season and see if he retires. Dude, there's no way. Russell Wilson is sticking out for one more year. The Ravens lose the Super Bowl to the Niners, 17 to nine. We got one more year with Russ. Let's get into the next week and re-sign any players we weren't able to. And I'm pretty sure we signed Russ to a three-year deal and I don't see him anywhere. Has it only been two years? Am I tweaking? All right, but that's besides the point. We need to re-negotiate uh, some deals so that we're able to afford to bring back all these players. And we weren't able to free up as much money as I'd hope. So let's hope we're able to bring back all these guys. We're not gonna accept the fifth year option because this is the last year. But we wanna bring back Colton Miller. He would like to play for a new team next year. Uh, we'd like to bring back Jack Jones. This is pretty cheap too. All right, he would also like to play for a new team next year. Fortunately, those are really the only two like important players to bring back. We will bring back Eric Armstead. Are we able to afford, we're not able to afford a franchise tag for either most likely, but Colton Miller is obviously more valuable to the team. So we're going to franchise tag him. We're not gonna have any money to spend in free agency. Let's get to the draft. Here we are in the draft, picking at round one, pick 24. This will probably be the only pick we make because our next pick is until the fourth round. And dude, this is exactly what it looked like last season. Look how dog shit all these quarterbacks are. I mean, not like we're going to be doing a season after Russ anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. I'm trying to think of what position we could use. Because our O-line has been playing good. I don't see any reason to add anybody there. Maybe we go for Darnell Curtis, 22 out of Louisville. He had 39 bench reps, which is only great strength somehow. But he has A play rec, A to C awareness, B power moves, B block shedding, and B finesse moves. We're going to be going ahead and taking Darnell Curtis. Really thought he was going to be hit in dev, but every time I think that, I'm always wrong. Let's get to the draft recap. And the D tackle we took is actually 73 overall, which isn't bad. Looks like the CPU actually did all right. They took a 70 overall receiver and a 70 overall running back. Let's take one last look at the lineup before we get into this last year. We are finally to the point where Aiden O'Connell is a higher overall than Russell Wilson. But hey, who cares? We're going to stick it out. Um, here's a look at the offense. I don't know why Vickers is only getting an option to play at center or right tackle. I'm probably going to move him to right guard. But Russell Wilson has a good receiving core. He has an X-Factor tied in along with it. Defensively, we look pretty good. We have two good guys on the interior, a few good linebackers, and Heenan actually went up to star. But uh, Mo Rig is pretty much playing as our other linebacker. I'm probably actually going to move him to strong safety. All right, so I move around the O-line. It looks a little better there. And defensively, we now have two superstar safeties. Um, the cornerback group definitely took a hit, losing Jack Jones, but I think we'll be all right. I think the team looks good, and I think we're setting Russ up for success. It's all just going to come down to how he can play. Actually, no, I don't think so because last season he played great and he even scored like over 30 points in our playoff game and our defense allowed like 40 something to the Chiefs. But that being said, let's get to the end of this last season and see how we can do. And in Russ's most likely final year, which I have said the last three seasons, he goes 11 and six, has a top five offense in points per game, a top three offense in pass yards per game. And we have the 10th offense in rushing yards per game. We're going against the Buffalo Bills in the first round, but first we got to take a look at our stats. Russell Wilson was third in the NFL in passing yards with 4,400, 36 touchdowns with 25 picks. Yikes. And Josh Jacobs has been doing this like every season, 1,500 yards, 20 touchdowns consistently. Devontae Adams with 1,300 yards, 17 touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 1,100 yards, six touchdowns. T. Higgins, 800 yards, six touchdowns. Michael Mayer, 600 yards, four touchdowns. And the O-line definitely had its worst season so far, but Colton Miller was really the only one who played poorly. Three sacks out of James, three out of McKenzie, two out of Vickers, and two out of uh, Corcoran. 
Defensively, Quay Walker leads the team in tackles with 154. Max Crosby got 17 and a half sacks and 14 TFLs. Seven and a half sacks out of Eric Armstead with 13 TFLs. Three and a half sacks out of Tyree Wilson with 10 TFLs. Interceptions, we got three out of Nate Hobbs, two out of Javon Holland, one out of Trevon Mulrig, one out of Epps. I guess let's take a look at, oh, we don't have Crosby anymore. We have Will Lutz. Let's take a look at the yearly awards. MVP goes to Dak Prescott. Surprise, surprise. We're not up there also because we threw 25 picks. Offensive player of the year goes to Lamar Jackson. And Devontae Adams came in second place. Josh Jacobs comes in fourth. Defensive player of the year goes to Chris Jones. We come in second place with Max Crosby. And we did not have any starting rookies on offense or defense. But the question is, will this be Russ's last game as an NFL quarterback going against the Buffalo Bills in the wild card? Or will he get a win? And we lose. We could not win in the playoffs this rebuild like at all i guess let's go ahead and send to the offseason see if russ manages to not retire again i don't know dude there's no way dude he's gonna be like a 60 overall do i even do another season the bills win the super bowl over the eagles let's guess let's just get into these re-signings i genuinely thought i was about to record the shortest video ever i thought russ was gonna play like two seasons and retire but somehow He's like, what, 37 years old at this point, and he's still playing. I wonder if he's somewhere on here to resign, but we definitely want to bring back Max Crosby, $200 million deal that he takes. Also definitely want to bring back Michael Mayer, five-year deal, 70 mil. He takes it. Um, before I start giving away all of our money, let's make sure Russ isn't on here. Oh, and he is. He is now a 66 overall. He only wants a little bit of money, so go ahead and give it to him. He's happy to resign. Tyree Wilson, we want to bring back four years, 66 mil. He takes it. Want to bring back Quay Walker as well. We'll give him five years. We'll give him five years, 75 mil. He takes it. Johnny Bullock, we'd like to bring back. It's only a fifth year option. Never mind. Same with Devontae Adams, three years, 56 mil. He resigns. Colton Miller, we want to give him another deal. He takes it. And hopefully there's not too many other players because we don't have any more money and we are good. Looks like Russ has one more season in him. I've literally said every single uh, season that it was going to be his last year, and he just keeps proving me wrong. Let's see if we can free up some money and hopefully get some free agents and just go balls to the walls for Russell Wilson's last season. And we were able to free up a pretty decent amount of money. We have $45 million to spend in free agency, and we could give Russell Wilson Tyreek Hill. Is that the move, though? That's the question. Looking at this free agent class, it's looking like it is going to be the play. We are going to try to sign Tyreek Hill here in free agency. Yeah, there's nobody else really worth going for, so we're just going to try to go for Tyreek Hill. I gave him an absurd amount of money, and somehow we're still not the top offer. All right, we're giving 33-year-old Tyreek Hill a seven-year, $300 million deal. So if we're not the top offer here, that's stupid. Okay, we are. There's literally no way he... <laughs> are you kidding me? Like... Are you kidding me? There's no... Dude. They gave him three years, like 90 mil. Or no, that math's not right. But we gave him seven years, 300 million, and he turned it down. Wow, he really didn't want to play for us. So I guess there's nothing we can do in free agency. So I guess let's just trade away our draft picks here. Don't even care if this is blowing the team up. We're putting everything on the line for Russell Wilson's last season. Because even if he doesn't fucking retire, this is the last season. Like... Russell Wilson, you've been playing long enough. Let's take a look at our lineup. Fuck it. For the last season, we're giving Russell Wilson X Factor. I don't think it's going to do anything because I don't think abilities affect the simulation. It's just going to make him not become a 50 overall by the end of the year because I went to change his dev trait and it just kind of sounded funny to give him X Factor. But he now has Chris Olave, Devontae Adams, T. Higgins, Jacoby Myers, and Michael Mayer to throw the ball to, and Josh Jacobs sitting at a 99 overall. And this defense just looks so good. We've built a really nice defense. The interior doesn't look as good as when we started, but not a big deal. Um, I do want to look how old is Russell Wilson now at this point. Russell Wilson is 38 years old, still out here playing ball. Wow. Yeah, let's just get to the end of this next season, and we're going to see if Russell Wilson can make the playoffs again and hopefully actually win a game. And we went 8-9 and nine in the last year of the rebuild, and we missed the playoffs. I will look at our stats. Russell Wilson probably threw like 40 picks. Oh, we actually didn't do bad. 4,100 yards, 28 touchdowns, 18 picks. That's going to be the only stats I show because 
Rebuild's pretty much over. I do want to sim to the offseason to see if he does retire finally. I'm so tempted to do another year, dude. 39 years old. Fuck it. If Russ wants to go another year, we're doing one more fucking year. We sign Jalen Ramsey. We bring back T. Higgins. Oh my god, I can't believe he's doing this to me. I've been recording for like two hours, dude. Let's just get to the fucking next season. Forgot to re-sign Russell Wilson. Hopefully he's sitting in free agency. Here's my boy. Sign him to the active roster. I don't even have the energy to make this lineup look better. I don't think it's going to matter. This is the last season. I'm not caving. I don't care if Russell Wilson doesn't retire again. I do not care. This is the last season. Um, we're probably going to go like 7-10 and 10 and miss the playoffs, but... Hey, if Russ doesn't want to retire, we're going to give him one last shot. Fuck it, we ball. Let's see what he can do. And that's way worse than I expected. We go 3-14. and 14. Let's see how Russ did. Why did it take out Russ, dude? Did we cut him or some shit? Where the fuck is he? That's so disappointing. What happened? Did he go... Is he back in free agency? Yeah, he's in... Fr I signed him and started him. That's so disappointing. Well, he's sitting at 40 years old. We know his ass would have gotten us to higher than 3 and 14. It's going to be the end of this rebuild. I wish the ending would have gone better. I don't know why they cut Russ on its own when I put him at our starting quarterback. But um, that's besides the point. Russ plays until he's fucking 40 years old. I expected this to be like a fucking 20-minute video and record for like 40 minutes but I've been recording for officially two hours and who fucking knows how long this video is gonna be um I mean if you like the video leave a like subscribe to the channel but I doubt there's anybody watching at this point because nobody was expecting Russ to play what how old is when we started 34 so he played like six years technically didn't play this last year but this is definitely the longest I've ever done a rebuild for. I cannot believe Russ did not want to retire. I really wish we would have gotten that last season out of him. But it looks like the Raiders are going to be the ones who go for Russ, I guess, according to Madden. That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces.